Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Phil Bangkok. We're so excited to be here for the first time and really connect with our entire Filecoin ecosystem. And big thanks to everyone that made today happen, including our Filecoin Orbit community ambassadors who are here working the event. So today I want to kick off our special session with Coindesk Live, really around the importance of DPIN meets AI and the role of Filecoin in all of this. And so with that, um, I wanted to start with um, the excitement of why we're here today. Um, I'm Clara Tsao from the Filecoin Foundation. And uh, I wanted to start with this phrase you see behind me of why the internet is so fragile. Today, most people have no understanding of how the internet was built. And a lot of the pieces of the internet today are dominated by existing large monopolies. In fact, there's a phenomenon that Jonathan Zittrain from the Harvard Berkman Center calls link rot, where majority of the links on the web, um, close to 60, um, close to 67 percent of all links are broken at some point in time. And what most people don't realize is most of the data owned by the web that you use on your phone today are owned by three major companies, Google, Amazon, or Microsoft. And at Filecoin, we believe that data should actually belong in the hands of users, not centralized monopoly. This is incredibly important because the amount of data that we consume every single year has increased at an exponential rate in the past decade. In fact, we're looking at over 400 terabytes of data created every day. And this is an 861% increase since the way we use data more than a decade ago. And so as we see this growth in data, the importance of owning your data becomes more important than ever. So if you look here, sorry, my slide is not going back. Um, you can see some of the data sets stored on Filecoin today. We actually store all kinds of data, from large archival data sets to medical data with the Victor Chain Institute, to data sets from major academic universities, um, like University of Utah, uh, MIT, Stanford. We even store tons of Web3 data, from NFTs to chain archival, archival backups on Solana. And today, we're also facing um, a huge growth in a number of companies launching just this year across the Filecoin network. To date, we have over 200 different projects all building on Filecoin, focusing on so many areas from storage to AI to DPEN. And you'll actually hear from many of these companies this very afternoon. Um, just to dive into some examples, we have companies like Akave really looking at the right on-ramps to really bring Web2 users from AWS um, and other platforms onto a decentralized storage network. We have deep in companies um, that are really looking at making sure that when you think about storage on decentralized physical infrastructure, we can back that up to a decentralized network. We also have tons of companies really thinking about on-ramps into the enterprise. So this includes groups like the Decentralized Storage Alliance, Decent, um, Seal. There are so many others that really are trying to solve this large data enterprise problem. And as many of you guys know, the biggest growth in data today actually comes from large enterprises. So this is an important um, problem more than ever. These are just a snapshot of some of the L2s that are launching on the Filecoin network. You're here, you're here from many of these teams actually today. We have Akave, Basin, and Sriracha really thinking about hot storage on Filecoin. And also Fluence, which is really focused on decentralized compute. This is just the very beginning of all the amazing L2s that will be launching this quarter on the Filecoin network. And um, I encourage you guys to stay around later today to hear more about them. Um, I wanted to bring the conversation back to why AI is so important. For many of you, you might have heard about AI in the news, you might have thought about building an AI startup, but the reality is today's AI is actively centralizing. In 2014, if you remember, Google acquired DeepMind. Um, and so today, even innovating on AI is largely controlled by big tech. Um, Anthropic, which actually came from a bunch of engineers that felt like OpenAI was influenced too much by Microsoft, right now has a majority of investment from Amazon, Salesforce, and Google. And so, um, and then recently OpenAI just announced a 6.6 .6 billion um, valuation, the largest venture uh, capital raise in history. 
at $157 billion. And this, as you guys know, um, has a huge majority share from Microsoft. And at Filecoin, we believe that, you know, as we think about 90% of the world's data that will be generated by AI, uh, some estimate by 2026, we want to make sure that the ownership level of data comes back to everyday users. So um, how does this work for a network like Filecoin? Well, Filecoin is the world's largest decentralized storage network. We have over 6.1 exabytes of available data. And we also have uh, a network of over 2,000 storage providers all around the world, many of them who are here in Southeast Asia, that are really thinking about ways to innovate uh, with data and making sure that we can create decentralized data centers that can have resilience and redundancy for data. And there's a lot of opportunities for a more equitable and reliable solution um, for data that offers scale, resilience, and also proof of storage. And here are just a couple of examples of announcements we've made this past year alone. Um, we've had over seven to eight different major integrations with companies today that are not only thinking about decentralized physical infrastructure, but also AI. So companies like Aether that are thinking about decentralized GPUs, we announced working with them to really think about ways to solve the GPU shortage that we're all feeling, also with the data layer. We also have companies like Nuke AI that were teaming up to really decentralize AI models, the Bagel Network really looking at metadata, and also looking at Theoric for AI smart agents. So instead of looking at just storing archival data, now we can really make use of it, and also making sure those kinds of data are queried and stored in a way that doesn't necessarily go back to big tech. This is a really important issue that should be on top of everyone's minds. Um, just earlier this month, the US had its presidential election. And uh, in fact, this, this very year, 49% of the world voted in some way. This is the largest year where countries uh, had to put in a vote. And the biggest threat to democracy is actually information integrity on the web, where majority of people we're dealing with online disinformation, not necessarily trusting where to go out to vote. And one of the things that we are especially proud of here at Filecoin is the way decentralized storage can really help improve the way people think about content integrity on the web today. We have companies like Numbers Protocol, which you'll hear about later today, that have been working to look at restoring trust in Taiwan and Indonesia, really using their uh, technology to allow for journalists and everyday citizen activists to be able to document and show election results. We have uh, a number of companies um, like Rotors in the US that worked with Starling Lab um, out of Stanford to really making sure that presidential transitions were smooth. They worked on this in the 2020 uh, presidential election with Rotors to document uh, a smooth transition process. And we also have a lot of different groups um, across Kenya that are looking at making sure that election reports that are citizen generated can be stored in a secure way. Um, today, we're facing a new um, challenge in elections where you can imagine a lot of AI generated content coming with that. And we allow to make sure that we can verify that documents are not altered by AI or mis, um, misguided by uh, bad actors that might include uh, foreign influence operations overseas. So this is a huge area that we care deeply about. And so um, I wanted to conclude by saying decentralizing web um, can restore trust to this AI-driven world. There are so many challenges today um, when it comes to um, the world. And a lot of people, when they think about crypto or when they think about blockchain, they think about the crypto casino <laughs> or meme coins. And here at the Filecoin ecosystem and in the Filecoin network, we are very driven on really solving this data-driven challenge that comes back to data integrity, um, making sure that people can have ownership of their data and also prove how it's changed over time. So I wanted to thank everyone and I encourage all of you guys to stay around for some exciting talks from different companies building on the Filecoin network this afternoon. Thank you.